Welcome back trainers and like usual I'm going to be keeping you up to date on what is going on in Pokemon Go and folks this time around for the new update as far as the Android is concerned so far obviously it's going to come to iOS as well but the new update is rolling out on Android and boy oh boy do we have some incredible news to go over right now. So what we're looking at here is in the main series games there is an item called the Verse Seeker in which it's going to let you battle, rebattle, I should say, trainers that you have previously fought. And they're either going to have those exclamation points or an X indicating, yes, I want to battle again, or no thanks, I don't want to battle. And most of the time in the main series games, they do get a little bit more difficult as you continuously battle them. So we'll go over more about the Verse Seeker here in just a moment. So we also do have the Unova Stone. So that's going to be kind of like the Sinnoh Stone to help you evolve those specific Pokemon from that generation in Pokemon Go. But for black and white, as you can see from the image here, that kind of egg shaped deal is going to help you evolve Pokemon from Gen 5. I'm assuming that's how it's going to work. And then to the right, we do have the Verse Seeker, which has also been found within the data. Also found within the data, something called competitive ranks. Now we can jump to conclusions and say, wow, this is actually happening. We're going to get a PVP rank system. This could also mean possibly competitive rank for how many catches in your area. And if you're still a little confused, what, what do you mean a verse seeker? How's that even going to work in Pokemon Go? Well, let's discuss that. But first, let's go ahead and head over to the data miner so you can see it for yourself. Alrighty, trainer. So we're over here on Trails' Twitter. And I will be leaving a link in the description so you can go ahead and follow him yourself. Every time a new APK update does come out for Pokemon Go. He kind of digs in there and sees what's going to be new and then brings it to us plain and simple. So as you can see straight up at the top here, the new Unova Stone, which obviously is going to be revolving around Pokemon Evolutions, I'm going to assume just like the Sinnoh Stone for Gen 4. And then if we go down the juicy stuff here, Route Maker. So we've been seeing this appear quite a bit throughout the updates, wondering what it's going to be. The name seems pretty self-explanatory, right? route maker but here is the twist uh, pokemon go is going to be running off of gps and actual google maps so if everybody everybody's just going to go out there and make their own routes it's kind of going to lose the purpose of being a specific location and kind of google maps deal uh, so a little curious as to how that's going to work i know the name seems explanatory route maker you know you're going to probably make a route who knows what that's going to bring and Verse Seeker Upgrade. And uh, we just discussed that. We're going to be going more into details about how I think it's going to work here shortly. And then we have full Gen 5 Pokedex added. Pinsir Shadow added. All right, cool. No problem. Pinsir is going to be uh, one of the Pokemon that you can catch in the Shadow form. Buddy System Rework. Feeding Emotions Encounters. So are we going to be able to feed our Pokemon now? Are they actually going to show some sort of emotion other than the kind of little side to side movement that they're doing that would be fantastic and who knows what that's going to detail and actually be when it does come out and then encounters a little bit a little bit off i'm not too sure exactly what that means maybe when you encounter a pokemon it's going to have some sort of reaction but who knows and then here we go the part that i'm most concerned about period competitive ranking system now, we've been talking about this for so long that we need something like this. First, Niantic brings out Team Rocket, and that was fantastic. And a lot of people can say, well, I'm kind of getting bored of it. Well, sure. If you do something enough over and over and over and over again, you're going to probably get burnt out from it. But that's okay. I have hopes in the future that Niantic is going to make the Team Rocket's grunts possibly more difficult. And then when they introduce Giovanni, things are going to get a lot more interesting. So it is just another feature in the game, right? But the competitive rank system, how is... Hmm, hmm, they're going full swing. Seems like they're listening to us. Now, it doesn't say competitive PvP rank system. I'm assuming that maybe it'll show your possibly how many wins that you have for the Ultra, Great, and Master League, as well as your catches and, you know, whatever else in between, egg hatches and Pokestop spun, kilometers walk, things like that. Uh... We can just take an estimated guess at this point because we do not know 100%. But all we do know is competitive rank system is being introduced into Pokemon Go. And that is big news, folks. And then the route creation system. 
So even more self-explanatory route creation system, not even route maker, but creation. So thinking we're going to probably be able to make our own routes in the future. They're kind of uh, diminishing the whole Google Maps deal. Like, OK, what, what is this random road that leads off into the woods uh, to some random poker stop? Who knows? Right. <laughs> um, but only time will tell. But I just wanted to bring you this here. And like I said, I will be leaving a link in the description so you can follow trails yourself and keep up with all the information. He's not going to be continuously posting kind of when bigger updates do happen like this one here. All righty, trainers. Now let's get into the juicy speculation about the Verse Seeker here. So in the main series games, when used, the Verse Seeker sends out a signal that allows Pokemon trainers to find other trainers who want a rematch. So that is key there. Trainers who want a rematch. So I'm assuming maybe if we have this Verse Seeker, I don't know how we're going to obtain it. Maybe it's just going to become in our inventory, kind of like the camera and in which you're going to be able to battle trainers that you have previously battled already within that area. I don't know. This is uh, quite exciting here. The signal affects all trainers that are within the player's view. Once used, the device cannot be used again until it is charged. So how do you charge it? Well, the player does this by walking a total of 100 steps. So in Pokemon Go, I'm assuming once you use the first seeker and you do a battle your opponent to recharge it, you can't continuously just spam it to see if people want to battle you. Maybe that might just be the case, but I think once you do use it up in a battle, you're going to have to possibly walk a certain amount of kilometers to charge it back up, or maybe not even kilometers, but just simple steps. The effect on the trainer wears off either when they have been battled when the player leaves the route or when the player walks 100 steps within the route. If the player attempts to use the verse seeker when it is not fully charged, the player will be told how many steps remain for it to be functioned. So pretty self-explanatory there. And it seems like this can be completely relatable into Pokemon Go, seeing that everything revolves around, you know, moving. So this is very exciting and I can see why they're implementing this into Pokemon Go here. And a much more simpler explanation here, a device that indicates trainers who want to battle. The device battery charges while traveling. And then for the newer generations, a device that indicates trainers who want to battle. It's battery charges while you walk. So pretty self-explanatory here, and it seems extremely relatable for Pokemon Go because what do we do while we play Pokemon Go? That is gonna be walking as well as driving. Nonetheless, you're always moving and that's how you play this game. So the Verse Seeker seems like a very great addition to Pokemon Go and I really can't wait to test this out and see how it all is going to work because we did need something like this. Hopefully it's not going to have a very short range and we're going to be able to battle trainers that we don't even know because that should be pretty fun. And I'm not talking about online matchmaking. That's a whole nother thing. This clearly indicates that you have to be within a certain distance of a trainer to actually battle them. So can you imagine just walking through a mall, you're on vacation somewhere, you really want a PVP, nobody's really available. You hit your verse seeker and all of a sudden there's several people around that actually want to battle. You don't have to actually approach them. You just have a kind of sort of lobby that allows you to click on a trainer and then pick the league and then you can just go to town and battle them. That is something that I would love to see and hopefully the Verse Seeker does bring that to Pokemon Go. And with that said, trainers, please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Share it with your friends who are excited for PvP or just updates in general. Because come this September, and specifically this update, it seems like we're going to have a whole lot on our plate. And I'm walking this Pidgeot here because I am trying to complete my Jirachi quest. And I just want to get those kilometers out of the way. One kilometer for this. After that, Venusaur comes right back. Anyways, with that said, trainers, thank you for watching. And I'll be catching you all next time. Take care.